Peggy 18. Hey, I'm Bryce Charles, and I voice the boss in Saints Row. Why am I standing out here in the desert? It's because Saints Row is all new, with a brand new location in the American Southwest with all new characters to discover. Join me and the Volition team as we take you on a tour of a whole new world for the Saints. Welcome to Santo Aleso. Saints Row franchise has existed and done so many amazing things. Where do you go from there? It's kind of hard to figure out. Naturally, we looked at all the things that we've done in the past, but the more we did that, the more we started to discover that we we're actually blocking ourselves from the massive creativity we have at the studio. If we were to zoom out a little bit, I mean, the goals for this product, it's, it's about making the best Saints Row game we've ever done. We weren't really expressing what this game needed to be about. We knew we wanted to get a fresh sort of perspective coming in, and we tried to bring in a lot of new faces into it. And that's really helped us with what we've done. And that's when the concept really dove in that we need to reboot Saints Row. If this is a Saints Row game, it's gotta be open world, right? Of course it is. And all the crazy sandbox action happens out here, in and around the weird, wild desert city of Santo Aleso, the biggest and best Saints Row playground yet. We're set in the Southwest. That is a big deal for us because it's a whole new bold setting. The Southwest has a majesty. The buttes, the mesas, the color. You're thinking of that red rock. You're thinking of that sandy ground. The iconic sunsets, the postcard imagery, rich in culture, rich in diversity and history. It's also got an incredible city motto, which is keep Santo strange. Keep it strange fits like a glove. It was practically tailor-made for Saints Row. Embrace your weirdness, embrace your identity, and revel in it. Now we get the heart of our tour, the Saints themselves. Who are these four friends who come together, take a chance on each other, and create a criminal empire of their own? We've created a set of characters that you're gonna to want to invite in your living room every day. You have the boss. The boss is brash. So the best part is that the boss is you. Sort of a charismatic murder machine. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. You know, Eli. He wants to build something special. Prefers hostile takeovers to open hostilities. As an investor, I don't like wasting money. I really like Nina. Her way of thinking is really family oriented. An obsessive gearhead and just the best getaway driver in the business. And badass. Esto es por ti, mama. Kevin, he's come to Santo Aliso looking for a place to belong. Kevin is shirtless, I don't know why. Kev wants to be a TV chef. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy with the exposure the idols pay you in. This reset let us add part in a big way, and that's like the number one thing about this game. 100% they're relatable. I would not do what they do to pay down the student loans, but I get where they're coming from all the time. <laughs> so I made them watch while I broke their dads up. Oh, shit. But who would our bad guys be without the even badder guys? the criminal gangs that rule their own territories in Santo Aleso, stand in between you and control of the city you're looking to own. What's their deal? Each of the enemy factions approach you from different angles. They look and play distinctly from each other. My name is on the goddamn building! Marshall is an international corporation. They just happen to have their headquarters here in Santo Aliso. They are strategic assassins. They've got high-tech, bleeding-edge technology, and they're designed to secure and lock you down. In contrast, Pantera's all about muscle and physical power. They're part of the soul of Santo. They're tough and brutal, and they favor melee attacks and heavy weaponry to come at you with full force. When you're messing with the Panteros, you're messing with strength. Ladies and gentlemen of Then there's the idols. The idols are something completely different. 
They're self-styled anarchists. They see themselves as icons in the New World Order. They're a cult of personality, and what they lack in combat sophistication, they make up in numbers, and so they try to swarm the player. Okay, so let's talk about the talented team of creatives at Volition that brought this reboot to life. What are some of the things they're most excited for us to see, play, and experience? We are trying to put as much attention to detail as we possibly can. We wanted to create a whole new world filled with discovery that each of our players can feel included in. Our character team and our character customization, our options are crazy. You're making your character the way you want to, you're building your criminal empire the way you want to, you're earning money the way that you want to. All that together leads to the philosophy of being self-made. It is this weird combination that I don't see in any other games out there of humor, of over-the-top, and of badass. We're wanting you to just be in the moment and have that experience, and the experience that we're having is just BS and have fun with it. So that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. They're the kinds of choices that I can make and the way that I can play the game. And then most importantly, leveraging the experience of volition, creativity that we have with trying new things out and then having this open world where we can realize that. I think it's made for a really exciting game with Cintro. We started this journey searching for the new Saints. And where we got to is, it was time to tell a new story set in a whole new city about a group of friends hungry to create a new criminal empire all of their own. But ultimately we discovered that the game itself is about being your own boss, being true, being you, about being self-made. <laughs>